All right, so both canvases are prepped with acrylic flood base. And now we've got, I've already prepped the colors um, with some flood. So they should be of the consistency of soup. So they just should drain right off. Just like that. Now what you're going to need is you're going to need some silicone and you're going to need a couple drops in all. Now that you've prepped your canvases without the silicone with the white and the black, now you'll need the silicone in all of the colors that you're going to use. Depending on the size of your canvas, obviously you don't want to have too much paint. Um, and obviously with larger canvases, you'll want more. So you put a couple drops of silicone in. It won't take very much. This is what makes the, um, the little bubbles pop out. I haven't really tested to see if the more silicone you use, the higher concentration of bubbles. Maybe one day, but for right now, we'll just use a couple drops. And I just got that right on Amazon. So I'm just going to mix that up. And again, just make sure that you've got that consistency of soup. Or I guess broth, not necessarily soup. Guinness. The minute I tell for ask for si silence, I get you squeaking your little thing, hey? Gotta make an appearance on everything. Exactly. And the only thing I caution is I didn't do much of this one. This is a almost fluorescent green. I caution with the greens um, that are bright or yellows. Um, even sometimes the golds, if you don't get a right gold, it kind of turns it a little murky. It's not very pretty. Okay, so um, I found this at Michael's because I do have larger canvases um, and sometimes I find the um, paper that I've laminated isn't strong enough to pull across. Um, this is actually an acrylic sign that you can get uh, in the craft section, which I found um, that could be very handy. So what you're gonna do is, we will start with the white canvas. You're gonna to wanna to put your base color. You're gonna put a strip right at the edge and try not to flood it too much over yet. This is where a steady hand, okay. Sometimes, Blood gets these little chunks that you don't catch right away. All right, so then what you're gonna do is you're going to get your next color, and essentially you're going to do a rainbow effect or basically a stripe up against each other. However thick, thin you wanna do it, I mean, it's all gonna come out in the wash, but. And sometimes I tend to be heavy on one side than the other. 
and just kind of play around. Add where you want to go. But you're going to fill the canvas up. Just keep in mind that the end, wherever you drag your board to, all of that at the end will pretty much come right off the canvas. So I mean, sometimes I put just the base color at the end again. Sometimes I just put a color on there and just go with it, go with the flow. So this is my green, lime green that I worry about all the time. So I'm just gonna not put too much. Just cause sometimes it takes over. You essentially want to do lines you don't just want to make you know um, like dabs like this and because you're gonna lose a lot of that when you drag it out is trying to figure out what I'm doing and who I'm talking to because clearly I'm talking to a stranger doesn't realize and this can take a bit of a process again depending on the size of your canvas And you'll find that the heaviest pigmented colors will sink and the ones that are light will come up and bubble more. But the nice thing about the silicone is it'll still bubble no matter what. Go ahead and fill that canvas right up. The other thing that I've noticed is that once I drag, 
sometimes I get kind of a lick, so it's always good to have a paintbrush around so that you can drag it or paint it, cover them such as that. So. All right, so once you've got the canvas lined out the way you want it to, I think I'm just going to... Some of this I may lose, but you never know. And the only thing that I really watch for is an unevenness. So if I'm noticing that it's sagging somewhere, I may put some more paint. So this is pretty high and this gets a little lower. So I may just add a little bit more. Just like that. All right, so now that the canvas is, spot, canvas is pretty wet. We're going to add some more of our white on the edge here. We can drag that puppy. Wherever. Oh, I walk right by. See? Acrylic. Maybe that's not a good sign. All right, you're going to try to keep this as straight as possible. I like to just set it in a little. And you're not going to drag the paint off. You're going to drag the paint across gently. Let it all comes right off. And it's handy to have so much paper towel. So, this is kind of what I was talking about. Well, sometimes I drag it a little too heavy on one side, so we're just going to clean that. Go slow. These are things that take time and effort. Sometimes I just like to maneuver it a bit. Ever so slowly. Just to move the paint around so that it's a little bit more even. And I find that sometimes you get that large white space. So sometimes pushing it around. Good there. All right, 
right, so I'm gonna let that do its thing and then I'm gonna start another one for the black canvas.